Do you need to add a form to your SharePoint site? Let me show you how. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I am on a very simple form that I have already created. And the first thing we want to do is we want to grab the embed code. So I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to click on publish. Then on the left hand side, we're going to head over to embed and we want the iframe code. So I'm going to click right down here on iframe, then copy code. Next, we're going to head over to my SharePoint site and I already have this pulled up. So all I'm going to do is click on this plus sign right here. I can see embed right here, but if we do need to, we can always search for embed. I'll click here and we can see where we're going to be putting our code over on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and click right over here. We're going to paste that in and then down in the right hand corner, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see more of it. And then I'm going to scroll up to the very, very top. And then from here, right before we pasted it in, actually, I'm going to scroll all the way up to the very, very top. Now, one thing that is not included in this is the height and the width, and I want both of those to be 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in right underneath where it says iframe right here. I'm just going to paste this in. So it's just width equals 100% and height equals 100%. And you can see as soon as I added that in there, the form populated on the left hand side. Now, one other piece that we do need to do is we need to get rid of some of this code that was pasted in. We need to get rid of everything that is below the iframe right here. So we see the backslash iframe. So we're going to get rid of all of this right here. Delete. Perfect. And we can see that it is right over here. Now, one thing that we also need to do is we need to make sure that the scrolling is put to yes, because right now it's put to no and we can see that it is not scrolling. So we're just going to go ahead and change this to yes. And now we can see that we can scroll. Now, one thing that you might run into whenever you are pasting this in here is it might say that form.jotform.com is not allowed and you need to contact your admin to add it to the back end of the site. So let me show you how to do that just in case you run into that error. In the top right hand corner, we have this gear. If we click on this gear, we're going to head to site information and then view all site settings. Then from here, right under site collection administration, we're going to go to the HTML field security and then we'll just paste that in the form.jotform.com add and we will be good to go. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about adding a form to your SharePoint site, let us know and I'll see you next time.